I'm going to walk you through getting VS Code set up for Unreal Engine with the bare minimum amount of hassle. This is going to be a beginner's guide, but I am going to assume that you know how to install VS Code and you've already gotten Unreal Engine installed from the Epic Games launcher. There will be links for every piece of software that you need in the description. The first thing you're going to need to even be able to create and compile a project is the MSVC or Microsoft Visual C++ compiler. You need to download a specific version based on the version of Unreal Engine that you have. I'm using Unreal Engine 5.5, and so I'm going to get MSVC v143. While you're in the Visual Studio Build Tools installer, you'll also want to grab the .NET Framework 4.8.1 SDK and install it. While Visual Studio is installing, open VS Code. Go to the Extensions tab and search for C C++ and install the extension. Then search for C Sharp Dev Kit and install that extension as well. There are a few more extensions I recommend, so I'll have them in the description below. Once Visual Studio Build Tools are finished installing, we can go ahead and open Unreal Engine and create a project. It might take a little bit, but if you did everything correctly, it should compile and open. Now go to Edit, Editor Preferences, and search for Code Editor. Change your source code editor from Visual Studio 2022, which is the default, to Visual Studio Code. Unreal Engine should prompt you to restart. Go ahead and restart now. Once Unreal relaunches, it should have generated you a Visual Studio Code project. To double check, you can go to the Tools option and look for Generate Visual Studio Code Project. If the project already exists, it'll say Refresh Visual Studio Code Project. At this point, we can go ahead and open our code workspace, which should have been generated inside of your project folder. Double click on that. And you should see it open up in Visual Studio Code. Expand the .vs code folder and look for the c underscore cpp underscore properties .json file. We're going to add a few include paths here, which will help IntelliSense find your project files. Now, if you make sure Unreal Editor is closed, you should be able to go to the Run and Debug menu in Visual Studio Code, select the Launch Your Project Name Editor Development Build, and click Play. Now it's at this point that you are theoretically done. IntelliSense should build its index based on your project files and start helping you with autocomplete. But in my experience, it's extremely slow and very bad. Now, what a lot of people will say in response to this is something along the lines of, well, you got to remember Visual Studio Code's not a full-fledged IDE, which is a load of crap, honestly. Now, there are reasons to keep Visual Studio around, as in install Visual Studio 2022. The profiling, for example, is going to be a lot better. But for people who just want a simple, clean, fast, lightweight development experience with Unreal Engine, it is possible with Visual Studio Code. Unfortunately, I think it goes a little out of the beginner scope. So in another video, I'm going to go over using Clang to compile your project on Windows and using the Clang D extension for autocomplete in Visual Studio Code. If you found this short video helpful, leave a like or subscribe.